Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on the conference call today to discuss Rosari Biotech's acquisition of TriStar Intermediate Private Limited. We have with us Mr. Edward Menezes, Promoter and Executive Chairman, Mr. Sunil Chari, Promoter and Managing Director, and Ms. Manasi Insel, CFO of the company. We will begin the call with opening remarks from the management, following which we'll have the forum open for a question and answer session. Before we start, I would like to point out that some statements made in uh, the call today will be forward looking in nature, and a disclaimer to this effect has been included in the invite shared with you earlier. I would now like to invite Edward G to make his opening remarks. I think Mr. Chari will make the opening remarks. Mr. Chari? Uh, Edward, you have to start with the opening. Uh, Edward? Uh -huh. You have to start with the opening remarks. Okay, Edward, I will, I will read it out. Edward, uh, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on the conference call. Uh, we are very pleased to announce the acquisition of Trashtar Intermediates. Uh, the acquisition is an important milestone for Rosari's growth story and brings together two high-potential companies within the specialty chemical space. We believe the blend of capabilities will add scale and accelerate growth for us while significantly creating value over the longer term. Through this transaction, we will deepen our presence in the high potential categories of personal care and home care segment. More so, the addition of newer, newer technologies and expanded footprint in export markets will create strategic cross-selling opportunities for us going forward. Let me now quickly provide a brief introduction on the company. Incorporated in the year 1998, Trashta Intermediates is one of the prominent companies in India in the field of preservatives aroma chemicals and home and personal care additives. With a superior presence in personal care and home care segments, Trashtar's expansive product range also has applications across diverse industries such as pharmaceuticals, textile, paint, automotive, agrochemicals and others. It is a preferred supplier to various reputed companies and MNCs across India, Europe, USA and the Far East countries. The company has manufacturing facilities at Sarigam, which is at near Wapi, Gujarat, uh, with a total capacity of 15,000 tons per annum. On the financials, in the fiscal year 2021, TriStar Intermediates revenues stood at 110.5 crore, with EBITDA at 15.6 crore. Uh, EBITDA margins were at 14.1% and PAT at 10.4 crore. In FY 2021, the company's personal care segment contributed to 60% of revenues and exports accounted for 33% of revenues. Through this acquisition, I would also like to welcome on board Trashtar Intermediates, four experienced technocrat promoters with two and entrepreneurial expertise across technical and marketing functions. The promoters of Trashtar will continue driving the business for at least the next three years. We are confident that this partnership along with the team of Unitop will take Rosari to new business highs and create notable value for all our shareholders, stakeholders in the times ahead. Both our recent acquisitions bring immense synergies and growth dimensions to the table. They are complementary to our business and work culture and the primary focus going forward will be towards seamlessly integrating this into Rosari's business model. The combination of unit of chemicals and trash star intermediates with Rosani will augment the quality and accelerate growth in the future. I would now like to hand over to Ms. Mansi to share her comments. Yeah, good evening everyone. Hope you all are doing very well. We are pleased to announce the acquisition of TriStar Intermediates, which adds scale and brings several business synergies to Rosari. It provides us with an enhanced portfolio of products stronger presence in new and untapped international markets, and access to newer technologies, capacity, and talent. The company has a strong track record of serving reputed customer base across India and overseas. 
both rosary and tristar share the same customer focused business approach and heritage which will together strengthen and consolidate our market position as favored solutions provider in specialty chemical space in india as per the agreement rosary will be acquiring 100% of the equity share capital of tristar intermediate 76% of the equity share capital will be acquired upon closure of the transaction and the balance 24% over the next 3 years the total enterprise value of the transaction is rupees 120 crores we plan to fund the investment through cash on balance sheet and will not be raising any debt for this the investment of capital to enable this initiative meets all the operational and financial discipline criteria outlined by our board the acquisition mainly fortifies our presence in the high potential segment of personal care and home care which we believe will be a key growth sector vector for us in the coming years in another development with this segment we have executed a share purchase agreement to buy out the remaining 40% stake in our subsidiary rosary personal care products limited private limited to make it a wholly owned subsidiary through this subsidiary we will build our presence in the upcoming and promising categories of personal care such as skin care cosmetics and body care products we have undertaken many business initiatives in the hptc segment which we believe will enable us to sustain our high growth rate our long term focus remains on our increasing our wallet share across existing customer base while tapping new customer segments within an aim to consolidate our market position as the preferred supplier of intelligent and sustainable solutions going forward we may evaluate small and strategic tucking acquisition opportunities however currently we are fully focused on integrating the recent acquisitions of unit of chemicals and tristar intermediate and have no plans to consider medium or large size acquisitions from a near to medium term basis on that note i come to the end of my opening remarks and would request the moderator to open the forum for any operational and strategic led questions that you may have thank you ladies and gentlemen we will now begin with the question and answer session anyone wishing to ask a question may please press star in one on your touch tone telephone if you wish to remove yourself from the question queue you may press star and two participants requested to use handsets for asking a question ladies and gentlemen we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles The first question is from the line of Amay Mori from Alf Accurate Advisors. Please go ahead. Hello. Am I audible? Uh so you're sounding very soft. Can you speak a bit louder? One second. One second. Is it clear now? Much better. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh hi sir, thanks a lot. This is Amar from Alf Accurate. Uh Hello. हाँ अमर जी नमस्ते बोलिए नमस्ते सर नमस्ते सर दो 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 तीन सवाल थे मेरे पहला कि यू नो वांटेड टू अंडरस्टैंड वन मोर एक्विजिशन इन एथोक्सिलेशन स्पेस सो इफ यू कैन हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड द थॉट प्रोसेस बिहाइंड डूइंग दिस एक्विजिशन सेकेंडली आई मीन देन आई हैव टू फॉलोअप हाँ तो अमर जी द फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया uh was that you know we acquire companies which are good clean uh, not overlapping with our present categories in terms of customers products or manufacturing capabilities uh, so between unitop and tristar uh, the manufacturing capabilities are totally different um unitop Unit is focused on agro chemicals and oil and gas markets uh, and uh, uh, tristar is focused on personal care additives you know and uh, you know other surfactants uh, so the major market is uh, personal care which does not you know and this uh, product which is there uh, which uh, tasha makes uh, neither unit of makes or neither rosary makes so there is clear demarcation of what uh, you know tasha is doing and uh, uh, what unit of and what rosary is doing correct 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 and sir now the combined like you know um, i believe in this the we have the capacity of uh phenol uh, phenol ethoxin and then you have a eo capacity i believe phenoxy i think uh, ethanol capacity is around 3600 and eo capacity is around 2400 so in terms of the revenue mix uh, i mean how the uh, revenue mix looks like of 110 crores 
Um, the major is is personal care activities. We do not have product wise breakup. Uh, you know, uh, more than 60 percent is uh, uh, personal care activities from uh, the 105 crore turnover. So when you say 60 percent, so is it like 60 percent is more of a phenoxy ethanol uh, or it is more of a EO? No, 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 we don't need that. That's okay. They are uh, uh, personal care preservatives, which are 60 percent. So is it is it linked to more of a phenol uh, phenoxy ethanol chemistry or EO chemistry? Because the realization would be different, right? No, no, it could be it could be nearly the same for you know even if it's a phenoxy ethanol or it is a EO uh, surfactant, uh, the size would be in the range of 150 rupees today. Uh, so there is no much difference on it. Okay, so going by that, sir, 150 rupees kind of a size. So 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 total capacity would be what today? 15,000 tons per annum. Okay, and um, the utilization would be in the, in the range of over 70 percent. Okay, but sir, if we take 100 rupees, then 7,000 rupees per metric ton, I mean, 7,300 metric ton comes. So ah. that is the reason because if you know 110 rupees divided by 150, so you know it is something around 7,300 metric tons. Ah, but 100 rupees today, today, two months earlier, it will be less, sir. Okay, I mean, what 120, 100? Uh, I do not have exact figures, but it would be definitely less than what it was today. Okay, so that is on that basis you are saying 73. Yeah, and the 15,000 tons has come up over a period of time in the last one year. It was 10,000 tons in the last fiscal year. Uh, so this has come up, the capacity has come up now. Okay. And how the scale up will happen, sir? Like, you know, uh, break even, uh, you know, payback period would be in how many years? Uh, the oh. payback period is less than five years. Uh, you know, uh, we are. Uh, it will be value accretive. You know, for all our existing shareholders from day one, it will be EPS accretive, uh, and uh, we have we have we have you know ensured uh, you know whatever we invest in, uh, it brings a lot of value to our existing shareholders. Okay, thank you, sir. I'll come back in. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to the participants: anyone wishing to ask a question. May I please press star and one. The next question is on the line of Nasha Chaudhary from Systematic Shares. Please go ahead. Hi, uh, thanks for the opportunity and uh, congrats on a, a decent deal, sir. Uh, two, three quick questions I have. Uh, first one, just wanted to understand what is the uh, uh, rationale behind uh, uh, old promoter exiting? Uh, what is the reason? Secondly, um, uh, if you can share at time of you know acquisition, what are the risks and concerns we would have evaluated before you know uh, going into this deal? Uh, what are the points we, we might have you know uh, come across to uh, to say time you know spend more time on thinking whether we should go for it or not? Uh, uh, Nasir Bhai, the existing promoters are four. Uh, the names are Uday Marbali, um, Mr. Uday Marbali, Mr. Tete. Um, Mr. Debashis uh, Chakravarti and Mr. Sanjay Marbali. Uh, they are all 60 plus. They have four friends who started the business. Uh, they are four partners, and uh, uh, the second uh, succession, you know, like uh, uh, the children are not interested to come into the business. Uh, uh, Udayji is 63, and uh, you know, he has agreed to be there for minimum three years. Uh, so 66 will be there. And uh, you know, they thought that they could cash it out. Um, uh, Traster has been supplying to. Uh, Rosari for many years, so we knew them, and uh, uh, they were also suppliers to Godrej, and uh, you know uh, that is where we got a good reference from. We made inquiries, uh, and we found you know the product, the product category uh, like personal care additives having very very good features. Uh, it fits into our strategy. Um, it fits into our core chemistry, which we understand, and uh, you know um, uh, the financials were very very good. Uh, so uh, we we don't have any debt on our books. Uh, you know, uh, uh, even after the acquisition, and uh, uh, the product seems to, uh, you know, product line seems to have very good, uh, you know, advantage. Uh, they have very high class distillation, uh, you know, facilities, uh, uh, and they produ they produce some personal care additives which are like, you know, very very high purity. And uh, this we liked uh, the business because personal care is is a focus growth area for us. Uh, the manufacturing facilities do not overlap with us. Uh, the, the customer segments do not overlap with us. Uh, there is a much of a chance to cross sell our products to them and and to you know sell uh, uh, trash products to our customers. 
and uh, similarly uh, unitop and vice versa uh, so uh, you know we are very very excited now um, we, uh, we, uh, we have you know uh, connects in the, the european and uh, the american uh, you know chemical industries and uh, we made inquiries you know uh, besides the business due diligence uh, we did inquiries and we found uh, that you know uh, the product could have very very good market uh, in in uh, us and uh, europe uh okay i i just wanted to understand sir is there anything we uh, you know we disliked in the business or there is we see any uh, scope for improvement in the overall business in terms of uh, the way make the product or anything in the business which we dislike or is there or every uh, box we uh, had a, a pick of, of greens uh the board had set up you know they had given us you know uh, about 10 points uh, it ticked all the boxes sir uh wow. Uh, uh secondly sir uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the total number of employees uh, how many we have in uh, 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 this company uh, uh, plus unit of plus rosari i was just wondering because now uh, within a two months we have two more companies obviously every company uh, though uh, there would be some similarity but in terms of work culture there would be uh, a difference so i was just wondering how are we you know going to combine uh, the culture of rosari in all these two and what are what are the uh, challenges we might face in terms of getting everybody on the uh, 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 same line uh, we are at uh, rosari so uh, we no, have the uh, yeah yeah continue please noshadi so we have been you know uh, very uh, optimistic in terms of the way we used to function at uh, rosari and that was uh, something what was a, a major point we had in terms of our competitive edge so i just wondering whether uh, these two companies would uh, bring the similar kind of culture to us or uh, no, whether there be any differences how are we going to tackle that uh, edward sir yeah so naushad ji uh, at the present moment since we will be acquiring um, uh, only 76% of the shares and uh, the rest of the acquisition will happen over the next 3 years uh, essentially the company will work as a stand alone company so there is no merger happening at the present moment so at the present moment uh, we don't have a challenge of uh, rosari culture but what we have a challenge is to uh, uh, is to merge the um, uh, uh, the two companies possibilities you know the cross selling possibilities and the um, opportunities that are there uh, uh, with our connect you know with uh, with the rosari connect so that is uh, uh, what is what is going to be a challenge rather than uh, the cross culture and the people integration etc of course uh the people integration and the culture uh we will take care of uh, as the time goes by and we feel that in the next couple of years we'll have plan that in a micro uh, in a micro management way okay uh lastly sir in terms of if you can name uh, name you know some of the client you have highlighted godrej and you also used to buy it apart from uh, uh, these uh, any other names if you can you know uh, uh, share with us plus how much uh, we used to buy from this company uh, as of our 2021 uh, uh, no should buy uh, the quantity you buying was very small uh, 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 and uh, you know uh, uh, normally we, we avoid giving customer names now in the calls uh, for competitive reasons uh, but they have a marquee name very very good name of customers uh, in europe you know who are who are buying from them Okay, and what is the key raw material for this company, sir? Uh, uh, again, ethylene oxide and uh, uh, you know phenol would be one 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 of the key raw materials. Okay, so thank you. That is it for my side. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ankur Periwal from Access Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. I uh, am audible. Ankur ji, yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, sir, okay. So, uh, two questions to start with. Uh, so, you know, given this company will, you know, you mentioned there is uh, no product overlap, no customer overlap. We will give, uh, we'll get a geographical extension as well. Uh, so, so two parts there. So, one is, uh, you know, how uh, and this acquisition as well as uh, you know going back to the older the unit of acquisition as well. 
uh, from a capability perspective while you know uh, from from the product portfolio uh, perspective obviously this this gives an expansion but from a manpower team leadership perspective uh, you know uh, do we have sufficient people in place to ramp up this across geographies across different product segments or do you believe that we will have to scale up you know uh, and on that side and relevant question there uh, on the uh, the r&d side uh what your thought there if we need to ramp up some bit of you know investments on that side as well good sir yes yeah so uh, so actually yes uh, you're right uh, because of the new acquisitions uh, we are uh, uh, in the process of hiring a new ceo uh, to look after the uh, acquisitions and as well as a new group cfo so these two positions are open and uh, we are we are on the verge of closing these two positions uh uh as i said that these two companies are uh, uh are going to work stand alone so the promoters of tristar as well as the senior management of uh, unit of both are going to stay with us uh, for 3 and 4 years so therefore uh, therefore the transition is going to happen uh, in a slow manner so initially we do not see a, a problem of management bandwidth uh, we will be uh, inducting Uh, one or two key personnel in operations apart from that uh, we will induct uh, is, uh, we will have a ceo to oversee uh, the operations of the two companies as well as a group cfo uh, to have financial control sure sir and and given that you know incrementally both these acquisitions will help us sort of you know be much stronger on the back end side in terms of manufacturing capability uh, any any thought on the r and d side uh yes on the r&d side uh, 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 both these companies are strong in manufacturing of course unitop also has the formulation uh, uh, part of it and they are quite strong there uh, however we won't require capex in r&d but we will require cross pollination so our r&d team uh, will uh, uh, kind of train the r&d team at unitop to take care of uh, formulations in textiles uh, as well as the other hppc segments uh similarly in tristar uh, they are uh, their r&d is uh, strong in the manufacturing of the various molecules and the expertise of uh, um, of rosari uh, to get into uh, multiple end user segments across these clients uh, to be ta- tapped into into the future with uh, offering uh, other formulations you know based on uh, the chemistries that tristar makes uh, that will be a cross pollination that we will do in the future Sure, and uh, sir, uh, just one addition, a follow up to that. Uh, we we have been maintaining our you know uh, target revenue ramp up uh, with the new capacity coming in. Uh, with this acquisition in place, uh, you know uh, obviously there will be a top up revenue contribution from these two acquisitions. But will it also accelerate the ramp up of our you know existing facilities? Uh, uh, that uh, target or that run rate will maintain it. Yeah. So the base facility will continue to grow, you know, with our present run rate. So the organic part of our business will grow, you know, as what was uh, has been promised earlier and guided earlier. Uh, these two companies uh, are some, you know, have had a 15% uh, growth uh, over the past few years, uh, and uh, we hope to accelerate this also. Great, sir. And just one question, if I may add. uh the 40% you know per shares that we have now acquired uh, in rosari personal care uh, uh so you know if you can put some light there because you know the earlier thought was to incentivize the, the senior management here so uh, mr agarwal there so how how does you know the revised structure looks like uh we saw personal care as a very very good opportunity and uh, we see a very very good future for personal care uh we thought that at this moment uh, you know uh, if we get the 100% share ownership uh, it would be much cheaper than if we do it 3 uh, 4 5 years later uh, so the board collectively took a decision looking at uh, the increased focus of personal care and also tristar uh, at to this sure and and how do you incentivize mr agarwal now so he continues to lead uh, the personal business which he was leading uh, uh, you know uh, he he will continue to focus on the personal business uh, you know uh, after even after shedding uh, his shares uh, to the sari okay so from a management responsibility perspective there no change just the the change in the shareholding uh, side will that be right way to date it uh, 
the right time uh, would be that you know he would not be working full time he would be working you know uh, part of his time but uh, his focus uh, our anchor customer anyways was you know a purple which we had mentioned earlier and uh, so his focus would be to continue looking at that customer and uh, we will have more teams uh, you know to grow this business further uh, in a very 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 strategic way we see a very very good future uh, for this part of our business uh, because this is the biggest market segment we have uh, you know among in in uh, in all what we had till now uh, but now we add agrochemicals and oil and gas in unit of and we add uh, personal care additives in uh, tricer uh, so uh, uh, within our core chemistries uh, we add new set of customers to the user sure sure that that's encouraging sir thank you and uh, all the best Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mitesh Shah from ICICI Direct. Please go ahead. And thanks for taking my question and the congratulations for the great acquisition. I just sir, have a one question regarding the acquisition. Uh, apart from the succession plan, you said that I think most of the uh, point you said about the financials and the capability and the growth of around fifteen percent. So uh, I just have a question about your valuation. Means uh, I think uh, comparing with our companies or the any of the listed big companies, I can see that the valuation looks so uh, low. Uh, so what is the motivation for the these companies to uh, uh, means exceed you know such a low valuation? Is there any particular reason or the concern that the company will solve and that then the uh, you will see the better prospect for this company? नीतीश भाई मैं कुछ भी सामान खरीदने जाता हूँ ना तो मेरी मम्मी को लगता है कि महंगा खरीद के आता हूँ सस्ता खरीदूंगा तो भी एक प्रॉब्लम होता है तो हम लोग अच्छे भाव में खरीदे तो क्या प्रॉब्लम होना चाहिए तो इन दिस केस यू नो वी वी कुड यू नो ड्राइव अ गुड डील यू नो एंड दिस इज समथिंग विच इज नाउ यू नो हॉलमार्क फॉर रोजारी नाउ विच यू अंडरस्टूड नाउ दैट वी कुड एग्जीक्यूट वेल रोजारी इफ यू सी Uh, you know uh, the unit of also the business is fantastic uh, you know and similar the rice business is fantastic uh, uh, we had you know a unit of business which we had we could uh, drive at you know nearly 8x of uh, the bidda multi bidda as a multiple uh, so we had a base on which we could negotiate uh, with the rice promoters also and uh, 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 the markets uh, you know look expensive with chem- especially chemical stocks Uh, but we are able to you know explain to uh, the promoters you know on the valuation we got in unit up and uh, this was the basis on which uh, this is there and uh, uh, together now our internal team management teams you know have been able to deliver the age facility well on time or you know even the first phase was before time and the second phase also was in by 31st march uh, so now the key part is uh, that we make the acquisition successful Got it. Thanks, thanks a lot, sir. And the uh, about the second question, the margins uh, we can expect the um, uh, this two acquisitions margins would be coming to our uh, company's level uh, going uh, in, uh, in a next three to five years. Mitesh, uh, we have a different view on margins. Uh, you know, uh, we uh, traditionally specialty chemical companies have asset terms of one x. Uh, uh, Rosary traditionally has more than three to four x asset term. Uh, so we would not we would not be happy uh, with a 20% EBITDA margin and 1x of asset turn. Uh, we are happy uh, with a with a lower you know say 15% or 16% uh, EBITDA margins and 3x of asset turn. And I think you would agree uh, that this makes more financial and commercial sense. Absolutely, sir. So you are expecting that uh, asset turnover would be the major focus for you than the margin going forward. Yeah, so this is this is uh, mitigated by our DA, DNA, and that is where our intelligent chemistry. Uh, approach comes into play uh, where we always say that you know we do not want to be a chemical manufacturer we want to be a knowledge science value added customized formulation manufacturer who could deliver value to the customer in terms of sustainability in, ter- in terms of you know reducing its overheads like uh, like uh, fuel like its uh, labor uh, like its power consumption uh, anywhere where we can come in uh, to reduce the environmental load uh, that is where you know our expertise lies and that is our moat and that is what has made us successful so fast uh, in the past got it sir thanks for the detailed explanation uh, yeah. that's it from my end welcome mr shwet thank you 
We'll move on to the next question. That is in the line of Swarnab Mukherjee from Edelweiss. Please go ahead. Yeah, namaste, Shari sir. Namaste, Edward sir. Namaste, Edward. Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes, yes sir. Uh, so, sir, uh, two three questions from my side. Uh, first of all, again, uh, sorry to harp on the same same thing, but uh, margin of TriStar, of course, is a little bit dilutive to the company. Uh, I mean, uh, standalone margins of uh, Rosary Biotech. I understand that you are looking primarily more from the asset turn and an overall ROC side. But uh, wanted to know your thoughts on whether there can be in future any operational synergy uh, between uh, TriStar and uh, Rosary's existing facility, which could help uh, drive up the margin profile of TriStar. Uh, similar for Unitop also. So, like uh, 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 Swarnadi, like uh, like where you see, TriStar is currently supplying uh, uh, you know personal care additive. And uh, like in the previous question, uh, I mentioned that uh, Rosary would like to definitely leverage this relationship and start offering other formulations based on its core chemistries. So they, uh, at Tristar, uh, they make a lot of uh, personal care additives, but they sell them as uh, additives, you know, as pure ingredients. Whereas uh, Rosary has the, um, has the expertise uh, in formulation chemistry, and therefore, uh, we plan uh, to leverage this relationship and start offering uh, value-added uh, uh, formulations uh, with the sustainable chemistry because uh, TriStar chemistry is also sustainable and it is a, a non-toxic alternate alternate to the various preser preservatives that are uh, used in the industry today. So similarly, in the case of Unitop, uh, although they are at currently at 15% EBITDA margins, uh, their presence in oil and gas uh, is limited and oil and gas. Hello. Uh, Swarnabhji, I think we lost Edward G. Uh, to add here, Swarnabhji, uh, ROC, written on capital employed for trash trash standalone for FY21, is estimated to be 30% plus. Uh, so you see, you know, the return equity also is high, higher than 30%. Uh, so we are looking at a mar uh, as a business which is very attractive in terms of financials. Uh, I think EBITDA margin, as I explained, uh, is not a barometer, uh, EBITDA margin percentage. Uh, the amount of money we earn uh, is more important, uh, you know, at the end of the year uh, than as, as a percentage. Yeah, what if, uh, nevertheless, is it possible to share uh, like uh, FY19 and FY20 EBITDA and PAT numbers for TriStar? Uh, I do not have, you know, uh, FY19 numbers, but the uh, FY20 numbers, uh, 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 the the PAT numbers and uh, EBITDA margins were in line uh, like this year. Okay. Also, in terms of the top line uh, in your uh, these two exchanges, uh, it looks that over the last three years, so 19, 20, 21, uh, the revenue was in and around uh, 100 crores, uh, like uh, maybe, you know, 99 to uh, 110, somewhere around that. So, uh, uh, any reason for this stagnancy and uh, how do you see growth panning out in TriStar going forward? Uh, they have increased the capacity of Swarnabhji in, in the past two years now, uh, especially in the last year now. And uh, this would uh, uh, entail higher, you know, uh, revenues uh, in this year and the current year. Uh, they were they were already at very good uh, uh, capacity utilizations in 2019 and 20. Okay, okay, got it. So, and capacity utilization, you as you said, was around 70% at exit of FY21. Perfect, and that uh, 55,000 tons and has come in in the last year itself, uh, Swarnabhji, Pandraj Arunasi. Including, uh, am I mean, uh, accounting for that, it is at 70 percent. Yes, sir. Oh. Uh, and uh, in terms of uh, basically uh, the personal care subsidiary, so uh, uh, with um, uh, Mr. Uh, Rupesh Agarwal now, uh, you know, cashing out on his uh, stake, what is the incentive structure in place for him right now? Uh, his incentive structure is you know, linked to the purple performance. And uh, 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 he 
uh, is you know fully committed for the business uh, right now you know um, Mikhail Benes uh, is uh, also who is already already working with uh, uh, Rupesh ji uh, is now taking more uh, you know uh, giving more time to the Rosalie personal care business to grow uh, this business and uh, our existing R&D team and uh, the, the management team remains the same at Rosalie personal care and uh, the newer products uh, uh, like uh, like uh, from Tristar and also from the unit of uh, would help us in pitching uh, those as ingredients to our existing customers and also the knowledge science which we have gathered in Rosari personal care in the last last you know few quarters uh, help us in in growing the businesses all right uh, that's that's very insightful uh, last couple of questions sir uh, first one is uh, is tristar a debt free company uh, we are not taking any debt yeah, so it is a debt free company they have some small debt we they have to repay and in terms of uh, uh, acquisition as a growth strategy in future uh, do we see uh, do we expect any further bolt on kind of acquisition because uh, i guess i mean uh, some indication of that was there in manfiji's uh, comment but also uh, some media articles i was seeing that you know you may not look for any acquisitions so if you could clarify that stand uh, we have no plan for any big acquisitions uh, uh, we have used up our uh, you know uh, uh the cash we had on our books uh, so we'll be paying about 275 crores to unit up and about 90 crores to tristar uh, so uh, at this moment even after this acquisition we will be a debt free company uh, we will have healthy cash flows definitely uh, but uh, there is no plan till we digest these acquisitions for any big acquisitions right so we are not seeing anything in fy 22 but post that again you will be generating healthy cash right sir yes sir so something again then uh, inorganic can be a way by which you can use that uh, use up that cash yeah so we have seen you know some very good companies in europe growing uh, you know with a combination of uh, organic and inorganic growth and uh, rosary you know would also like to pursue the same uh, so uh, this is uh, a way of life uh, uh, but we would take one step at a time uh, like we have said in the past like in mountaineering uh, which आगे का पैर जमाने के पहले पीछे का पैर नहीं उठाएंगे तो वी विल वी विल इंश्योर यू नो एंड एंड ऑफ कोर्स द बोर्ड यू नो इज वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग यू नो एंड नॉलेजेबल बोर्ड दे विल नॉट अलाउ टू मेक मिस्टेक्स राइट सर दैट वेरी हेल्पफुल लास्ट वन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द एक्सपोर्ट मार्केट ट्राई स्टार इज प्राइमरली सेलिंग इंग्रेडिएंट्स की do we see a market for our uh, for formulation uh, kind of uh, business uh, with the same set of customers that gives us a cross selling opportunity edward sir uh, yes like we said that uh, although tristar is currently supplying only uh, personal care additive uh, rosari will definitely work towards leveraging the relationship and uh, start offering formulations which are based on the core chemistries of tristar so this is something uh, that we have already planned uh, uh, into the future and uh, we see this this multiple end user segment across these clients which can be tapped in the future by rosar so the intelligent chemistry that we have the formulation knowledge that we have uh, we are going to leverage on that and use these uh, uh, ingredients that uh, tristar manufactures and convert them into value added formulations as it is uh, uh, these products are non toxic and they are a good replacement for parabens and i think uh, uh, newer formulations uh, will definitely help us uh, add value uh, to the tristar business right so uh, with uh, these acquisitions now in place uh, do you do you see uh, in for stand alone rosary business do you see uh, any you know expansion in the uh, growth budget that you had Vis a vis, say what we were factoring in six eight months back when we were, uh, you know, we were talking uh, to uh, investors for the first time. Uh, but it is too early uh, to comment on uh, the cross selling that will happen. Uh, but uh, technically speaking or logically speaking, the cross uh, cross selling is definite to happen because uh, there are, uh, I mean, Unitop sells thirty percent of its products abroad. and the tristar sells more than 50% of its products abroad 
so their export is much uh, is bigger than uh, in a percentage wise is bigger than what rosari does and therefore uh, uh, we've already seen some opportunities in cross selling but it is too early to say whether it will expand uh, our top line you know the rosari biotech stand alone top line however we are on target for the rosari biotech uh, stand alone top line as uh, indicated in the past right sir got it thank you so much for the detailed answers uh, all the best sir thank you thank you we'll move on to the next question that is in the line of bharat shah from ask investment managers limited please go ahead नमस्कार चारी साहब यू नो नाव रोजारी हे शोन गुड एपेट आई इवन तो इट रिलेटिवली मोडेस करेंट स्केल ऑफ ऑपरेशन दैट वी हैव वी हैव शोन निम्बल फुटेडनेस एंड मेड टू एक्विजिशन सो दैट समथिंग विच इज Uh, definitely very creditable and praiseworthy but i my point was uh, good acquisitions are uh, the ones where not only we acquire what is already good and nice but it must aid to what we already have which is at rosary and uh, it should be something where we can aid to what we have acquired therefore Uh, there is a triple effect uh, not only go to acquire is healthy but we add a value to go to acquire and therefore it does better and what we have acquired adds value to what we have and therefore that also improves so from that thing point how do you uh, how do you make uh, meaning of both, uh, uh, both these uh, uh, acquisitions uh, not immediately but over 3 uh, to 5 year time frame uh namaskar bharat sir uh, uh the board also tells us that uh, when you take a ac- acquisition and you are 100 and uh, the acquisition is 100 it should not be 200 uh, it should be definitely 300 and more uh, so we we agree totally with your statement and uh, you know uh, as first is something uh, where we integrate these acquisitions uh, you know we make the acquisition successful uh, you know the board also tells us uh, that many acquisitions fail and uh, you know this is because of the cultural fit uh, you know sometimes it is uh, not within the core core chemistry or core competence and sometimes it is very highly you know paid or you know we have paid a high price for acquisition uh, we have taken care for all these three uh, now the first part for us would be successfully integrating and culturally integrating uh, where we don't hurt uh, the sensibilities of employees in the in, in the company which we acquired Uh, so for both at unit unit of and tri star uh, we see that there is a successful model and uh, we see you know do not want to tinker uh, by putting too many poor people from our side or making people sit on their heads uh, we have ensured uh, you know uh, that we retain the existing management for the next 2 uh, to 3 years at least in both unit of and tri star uh, and then uh, comes the point uh, where we can increase or catalyze uh, the growth the cross selling opportunities and synergies um uh, as a company sir uh, we have been banking with hgfc bank for the last 22 years uh, we have had guide, given guidance and achieved also and uh, uh, there sir uh, even in the last uh, 15 months we have been you know in in, in the public market uh, we have we have achieved whatever we have guided on uh, so as a company would like to be conservative in promising you and over delivering you know uh, to our shareholders and to our investors um, definitely um, uh, on our on our table and on, on our chart and our uh, you know plans um, we want to make this 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 uh, that is that is on cards sir we could we presume uh, on top of what already our plans for rosari heavy independent of these acquisitions um yes the but acquisitions will aid uh, a verticality to what we do uh, may not be immediately uh, cross selling takes some time building synergy takes some time but uh, in uh, on top of our growth plan it should aid a little bit further icing on that due to the two acquisitions 
Plus what we have acquired, if they've been growing at about uh, 12 to 15 percent, hopefully under our belt, uh, that growth rate and the character of the growth rate, both uh, at some stage once the integration is complete, uh, would improve. Uh, will that be fair assumption? Yes, sir. We, we, we agree with you on this point, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is on the line of Abhishek Navalgun from Nirmal Bang. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, hi, sir. Uh, so actually, most of my questions have been answered. Just I have one more. Uh, so again, on the margins of price chart. Uh, so, sir, actually, if we look at the historical financials uh, till FY19, this company was uh, in the margin band of 6 to 8% on EBITDA level. And suddenly from FY20 onwards, we have seen this jump. So uh, basically from 6% to 12%, and now we are at uh, 14%. And large part of this is actually uh, driven by this gross margin expansion. So just wanted to understand because uh, as far as exports are concerned, uh, phenoxyethanol is what we are uh, selling to a large extent. Uh, so which product is actually driving this margin? Uh, if you could answer that question. Uh, we, uh, you know, as uh, due to competitorism, we do not give product-wise breakup. Uh, but if you see o over a period of time, the focus on personal care business has gone up. Uh, so prior to FY19, the personal care focus was not not too much. Uh, uh, but now the personal care has gone, and uh, you know the exports also has increased. Um, so um, in FY18, uh, uh, the export was only 16%. Uh, you know, and uh, now it is more than 50%. Uh, so, uh, the change uh, uh, in strategy of focusing on personal care and focusing on export market has led because this was a question we also had during due diligence. Hmm. So, yeah, because it's a sharp uh, jump that we have seen actually over the last uh, two years. Uh, and I think I'm not very sure whether the other players who are selling Synoxy Eternal would be making this kind of uh, margin actually. That's why I actually wanted to uh, get clarification. So they have a special grade of uh, product uh, and they have, they, uh, because Mr. Uddhav Marvali uh, has, a, has been a technocrat uh, with experience in industrialization for population chemistry for the last 35 years. Uh, you know, when I used to work in a, in a company, he used to uh, head a company where we were buying material from. Uh, so you're a very knowledgeable man, and the purity levels they are able to get with their with their products is very very good. Uh, so these are two things which we like, you know, in Unitop and TriStar is is high quality of products and high respect in the market for their products. Sure, sir. Uh, and uh, again, uh, basically from the existing capacity of 15,000 tons, basically what would be the peak revenue potential for, for this, uh, basically for TriStar over the next two to, two to three years? Uh, simple, simple calculation, 15,000 tons in the 150 is 225 crores. So those are crores of Korea as a 90% percent pagarin Okay, so now, uh, basically I'm saying uh, in one uh, next one or two years, uh, are there any uh, major CAPEX plan in TriStar? Uh, no, the major capex plans are done. Uh, the capacity, you know, uh, expansion has been done. Uh, so, in in all the three companies, Rosary, Unitop, and TriStar, uh, there is no major capex plan. You know, except for the bottlenecking, uh, uh, there is no major capex plan. Sure, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Rohit Nagraj from NK Global. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks for the opportunity and uh, congrats. Uh, so the first question is in terms of uh, integration benefits. Now, if uh, both these companies are going to work as independent units, uh, how do we get the integration benefits? And uh, corollary to that, uh, we have also indicated we'll be inducting a new CEO as well as CFO. Uh, which uh, signifies that our cost structure in terms of employee benefits will go up. So will it hamper our margins uh, in the next couple of years uh, if the integration benefits uh, actually don't accrue because both the units and all the three units will be operated separately? Thank you. Thank you. Edward, sir? Yeah, so all the three, as we already mentioned, all the three units will be operated uh, separately. And uh, the cost of the CEO and the CFO is not going to be substantial when you look at the cost, uh, uh, the turnover of both Unitop and uh, TriStar put together. 
uh, that will be in excess of uh, 500 crores. So I think that that cost as a percentage uh, of the revenue is not going to be substantial. Absolutely uh, would not affect. Apart from that, over the next uh, couple of years, two to three years, the uh, original uh, promoters will also move out and therefore uh, that this cost also will be offset, uh, basically. Uh, as, far, as, as far as integration goes, uh, we've already mentioned that in the first six months, we do not want to make too many changes. Uh, we would like to inject some energy into the company. We would like to inject some aggression into the company for higher growth as per uh, the Rosari, Rosari way. Uh, that, that is uh, our main intention of motivating uh, the existing people. And therefore, uh, we have a HR consultancy firm uh, that we've hired, uh, which will help us to integrate uh, the culture of the two companies as well as uh, to normalize the policies uh, as well as the organization structure. Sorry, uh, the structure. Uh, so the second question is in terms of uh, TriStar asset base. So currently, what is the gross asset that they are working with? And how much uh, uh, you know, uh, scope for expansion do we have uh, from the uh, TriStar asset base? Uh, sir, I'll take this question. The current assets gross block is around 30 crores and uh, net block is around 25 crores. So the currently also the asset turnover is around 4.5 times. Uh, right and expenses whichever were there na, are already done. I mean, they are already done with the expansion of the assets in the last uh, one or two financial years. Uh, correct. Uh, um, I wanted to understand in terms of brownfield expansion further from say 15,000 tons. Uh, what is the scope? Uh, maybe we can add another 10, 15,000 tons or uh, lesser than that. Uh, Edward, sir. No, at the present moment, uh, we have no plans for expansion because uh, uh, TriStar has just done uh, the CapEx expansion uh, and uh, almost uh, um, almost added 600 tons per month uh, of uh, uh, capacity. So in the, in the next two years, our focus will be uh, mainly to uh, add to this expansion, uh, add to uh, the revenues with the help of this uh, expansion. However, um, uh, the matter is still open because uh, in, in in the expansion mode, uh, TriStar has acquired another site. That is, now they have three sites instead of two. And the third site, there is ample space for expansion of the distribution facility. Uh, right. And sir, uh, just one last question. So in terms of the operations of our uh, all the three businesses, uh, will there be any kind of uh, synergies that we will be looking at uh, maybe uh, uh, shifting certain uh, products to uh, relevant facilities where it can be optimally uh, produced and that could accrue to margins? That is a very good question. Uh, yes, because uh, the ethoxylation facility at, uh, at Unitop and uh, TriStar are common, although the products that they manufacture are different. Uh, but um, uh, we have certain uh, ideas in mind how to make take advantage of the, how to leverage uh, the operational efficiency, and uh, surely in the, in the future, um, once we study the products and once we see uh, what can be done in which facility, uh, that will uh, that we will surely uh, take place. Similarly, in the case of um, uh, Unitop, because Unitop manufactures both ingredients and formulations, uh, we could in the future look at uh, shifting some formulations or adding uh, whatever uh, formulation capacity needs to be added. That could be done at Rosari. Uh, thanks a lot, sir, and uh, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Roji. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Prafula, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, good evening. Uh, first of all, congratulations on both the acquisitions. Uh, my question was, is there any specific advantage of having both the acquisitions uh, on cash basis, 100% cash, instead of a combination of cash plus uh, share uh, share swap. Uh, uh, in the past, uh, ji, good evening. Uh, in the past, uh, some chemical listed companies have acquired, and the share prices have fallen. Uh, so the general, uh, uh, you know, uh, worry in the in the share market uh, in the chemical industry is uh, not to take you know share swaps. 
um, as both uh, in both the companies uh, the owners uh, had no interest in continuing with the business or your second succession um, they would like to in cash and uh, they do not want to take share shares up and also popularly we had you know the, the entire for both the acquisitions uh, money was in our in our bank uh so uh, we uh, we believe you know uh, uh, we already raised equity from by way of a preferential equity raise just two months ago uh, so it, in in effect you can say for rosari it is a share swap only we have not taken any debt and neither we we require any debt for, you know in the next uh, couple of years okay thank you thank you thank you The next question is from the line of Amar Maria from Alpha Accurate Advisors Limited. Please go ahead. Hello. Yeah, Amar ji, बोलिए. हाँ, sir, एक छोटा सा क्वेश्चन था कि like you know the scale up opportunity uh, into the TriStar plant. I mean, as you indicated that you know 1500 metric ton capacity can reach to something around 200 to 250 kind of a ton over. so i was wondering like you know how the scale up will happen into this particular facility or uh, when you guide for this 5 5 years of kind of a payback um, are you considering something else which is beyond this uh, calculation uh, i think uh, what we are considering is as of now the revenue of this company is 110 crores but considering the demand for the phenoxyethanol products we expect that to go up and so with the increase in the revenue will bring us increase with its margins and other margins so that will uh, have uh, our payback as 5 years okay so meaning uh, meaning either the revenue has to be go higher or you are saying the profitability has to improve so what is going to happen in this is the profitability yeah, uh, going to basically, go basically uh, revenues will be little higher considering i mean as of now it is in the range of 100 uh, uh, 110 crores so that uh, we expect that to be higher in the next uh, years and also and then of course with our uh, uh, our uh, expertise uh, the profitability margins will even if those remain at the similar Then we will try to bring it at our uh, margins also. So that will uh, definitely improve. I mean, the increase in the revenue will definitely improve the margins also. Oh, uh, madam, I just wanted to understand. Like you know, even if I consider 90 crore, the amount which you are going to pay initially, right? And when you say payback period, you are considering EBITDA, right? Or profit before tax? EBITDA. Correct. EBITDA. So yeah. basically, basically, when you say EBITDA. So what I was to understand is that even if considering the 15% margin which you talk about, so that means you know 600 crores kind of a revenue scale up that requires. Uh no, it will not be 600 kind of a revenue. See, basically there will be definitely the revenue growth will be uh, say in the range of around 10 to 15%. But definitely when the profitability margin improves, so in even if the EBITDA margin goes up to in rupee terms, like if it goes up to say 25 crore, 30 crore, like that. So considering all that, we will have the payback margin, uh, payback period of five years. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So revenue growth also will be there, na? Right? Every year we expect good uh, revenue growth. Okay. So basically, you are saying uh, the peak EBITDA, uh, EBITDA which we which can happen to this is what like ultimately. Um, what we are targeting is something around 250 to 300 crores kind of a revenue right 300 would be little higher but uh-huh. uh, definitely uh, we can have 25 or 15% margin yeah. so 33 crore kind of a peak ebitda right and 90 crores yeah, other so some crore uh, ebitda is around 15% but uh, with our expertise we definitely want uh, that i mean our target is definitely that to increase the ebitda margin say maybe even if it increases by 1 1 and a half percent we will uh, have a good payback okay got it yeah thank you thank you The next question is in the line of Nasha Chaudhary from Systematic Shares. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks for the opportunity again. Uh, just one question. Uh, I wanted to clarify how uh, uh, 
फाइव स्टार सेल्स इस प्रोडक्ट डू वी सेल डायरेक्टली टू द क्लाइंट और डू वी गो थ्रू डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स और देर इज अ मिक्स ऑफ दीज टू मोस्टली इट इज टू डायरेक्ट कस्टमर्स एंड ब्रॉडली वॉट नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर्स वी वुड बी हैविंग इन ट्राइव स्टार एज ऑफ नाउ Uh, we do not have exact count on the on the number of customers uh, but they are not like uh, in in thousands uh, they are they are smaller and uh, more concentrated okay and in export uh, export market also we sell directly uh, to the clients yes uh, so uh, there would be aggregators in the chemical industry who would be buying and they would be selling to uh, end customers and typically how much time it takes for any new clients to get on board uh, in terms of product approval uh, pitching to them getting product ap- approval and uh, sending final uh, product to them how much time it takes uh, edward sir actually uh, uh, not more than 6 months all right sir all right thank you so much sir. thank you thank you Ladies and gentlemen, that is the last question. I now hand the conference over to the management for the closing comments. Uh, thank you, all participants. I hope we have been able to answer all your questions satisfactorily. Should you need any further clarifications or would like to know more about the company, please feel free to contact our team or CBR India. Thank you once again for taking the time to join us on this call. Have a very good evening. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen on behalf of Rosari Biotech Limited that concludes this conference call